Hello everyone, my name is John Lavelle and I'm the owner here at Cross by Overload in Marietta, California. I'm here with two Rancho Family Medicine physicians. We've got Dr. Kyle Vincent here and Dr. Jamie Sotis. They're uh, two guys that take care of a lot of our population here in this area. And we're gonna talk about today uh, five things, simple things we can do at home to stay healthy or just things in general you can do for yourself uh, to keep moving and, and feel better. I've invited these guys here to talk about, number one, what are some low impact things you guys can do to get the heart rate up and, and moving at home, get some sweat and some blood moving. And uh, I'd like to hear from both of these guys. We'll start with uh, Dr. Vincent here. Give me, uh, give me some ideas of what you like to do or what you recommend for, for that type of exercise. Well, you know, the guidelines are really to try to get at least 30 minutes of elevated heart rate on a daily basis. So, you know, at, at, at your comfort that you can do, if you have to stay at home, you know, I run, um, just around the neighborhood, you know, you can walk up a hill for a park, you know, if you yeah. have one of those close to the house, um, squatting in a chair up and down 10 minutes, 15, 20, 30, 40, mm -hmm. all of those things are really easy things you can do at your house to just really elevate the heart rate and, 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 and get the benefits of all, all what exercise does. That's awesome. Yeah. Right on, right on. Dr. Yeah. Sotis, what are your favorites? You know, uh, walking our dog that we just got, you know, everyone's got their kind of quarantine <laughs> thing, right? So we got uh, a quarantine dog and, uh, and so I love to, you know, it's kind of, you know, my daily thing, you know, our family's daily thing that we just want to get out and we want to walk our dog. So we have a high energy dog, so that really helps too. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, I mean, yeah, I think definitely being able to hit that mark of 30 minutes a day mm -hmm. doing something like that. Definitely, I think it's easier than we probably think that it is. Absolutely, you know? yeah. um, I mean, even if you have stairs in your house and you just like did a couple of stairs on, and kind of simulate a stair stepper, yeah. super easy. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. you know, we just, we prefer not, not to do that. We prefer other things, right? So sometimes yeah. it takes that discipline uh, to get over that hump. But yeah, there's so many things we can do right at home. Yeah, no, I love it. Uh, those are all great ideas. And, you know, I fortunately had the, the luxury of having a gym at my dis, you know, dis, disposal. And uh, I just... Uh, you know, I like to use tools that I have. And so I have the, the air bike here. Is that something that, you know, a couple different manufacturers make these. You've got the, the concept rowing machine here. Again, a couple different manufacturers make these as well. So you have a couple options of things uh, equipment wise that you guys can use if you have access to those things. Uh, other than that, I'm again, a fan of squatting all day long because with the squat, it, it improves capacity and functionality across almost every movement and it can be scalable and safely done almost anywhere, sure. right? So the depth of the squat all the way down uh, yeah. as low as you can get. Yeah, yeah. you talk about capacity too for, um, for you know, the patients that we, that we take care of. And you know, I think for me, what I'm really surprised at is the number of senior patients that come into my office who like swim laps after laps. After, I mean, I've been, to, you know, I've been to the pools and I've watched these people <laughs> and I'm like, I'm an aspiring triathlete who really stinks at swimming. But I watch these people and they just, it's effortless, but you can just you know, get that heart rate up and you can slow the heart rate down. I think swimming is probably one of the most underutilized, Absolutely. amazing yeah. exercises that you could do. Um, and certainly low impact, you know, because we have a lot of patients that we take care of who have yeah. arthritis, who struggle with things, you know, where, you know, even just doing some of these things might be difficult for them or might really be a lot on their joints. But getting in the water, that just even the therapeutic, I think, aspect of being in the water, you know, for these kind of patients would be great. But just even having the ability, you know, if they have the capacity to get in the pool and do something like that, I think yeah. it'd be awesome. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. And that's really good with just with the low impact with biking, swimming, because I mean, it's full range of motion. I mean, arthritis, yeah. you still have to use all your joints and yeah. you've got to find right. that middle ground of, you know, range of motion, still yeah. putting a little bit of pressure on it here and there, and then obviously recovering. But I mean, it makes your day-to-day -day function just remarkably better. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the squatting is one of your larger muscle groups yeah. in the body. That's why your right. heart rate can get up so high and it definitely improves balance and ability to put on your pants and just <laughs> yeah. a whole host of Absolutely. other things. Tie your shoes. You're right. right. <laughs> a whole host yeah. of other stuff. I'm sure you both so, would agree. You yeah. know, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. Yeah, so, uh, exactly. You know, the, exactly. The, the sitting down function and, and getting it out of your car and you know picking mm -hmm. up your kids or groceries, that's that's uh, all very necessary things that I'm sure everybody wants to keep mm -hmm. as long as they can. Absolutely. Um, I'll add to one more thing that, you know, in, in the CrossFit world, 
There's one, one word that everybody loves to hate, and it's burpee. Um, I think a burpee is a really cool way that you, it could be low impact if you scale it uh, to get the heart rate up. And again, you need no equipment, and it's uh, universally scalable. So I'll show you guys one really easy way that you could do indefinitely until you get tired or your heart rate is pumping fast enough to make you breathe hard. But um, you could just put your hands on the floor really slow. You could step back and then go to your knees, lower yourself all the way down, and then you could step back, step into your hand again. And if you get to the top, if you have the ability to do a little hop, even better. And that motion right there can be done faster and faster and faster until you can't move anymore. <laughs> yeah. 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 I had a, yeah, we had a, a, a coach that would say that that is the greatest exercise ever created. <laughs> I yeah. could not agree more. Yeah. It, it is definitely something that I think everyone should have the ability to do. Yeah. And if you don't, yeah. that should be a goal. Like how how goal. can I teach myself and prepare myself to get down and get up? Mm -hmm. That is about as simple as I think sure. it could be. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And the, and the simpler, the better. I mean, you used your full body with that. Yeah. I mean, it's a punishment for most youth, most youth sports. I mean, I hated burpees when yeah. I was in high school, <laughs> but I mean, it, it's, it, you can't beat them. I mean, they, yeah. they're just full body, all, arms, legs, the whole nine, especially if you hop at the end of it. Sure. And the fact you can make it scalable yeah. is, is, is really unique uh, for our senior patients for sure, because yeah. that's something that, again, that's a goal that you can have, you know, folks. You know, I fell. Well, if you do this and get up every day, it's yeah. I mean, it's yeah. kind of, you fall all the time. You're, you're right, so you can get up. So, I mean, it's really good. Yeah. It's a really good deal to be able to do that. Yeah. yeah. Anything else to add? I think that was yeah. good. Yeah, yeah those good. are all really good points. Though. We just got to put them into action, right? Yeah. yeah it's all about yeah. putting it yeah. into action. Find Staying a way to do it. Yeah. You know, find, sure. find some accountability and some, and, and what, I guess I'll add something. One thing that I've found in my population of people that works is giving people and letting them be aware of the reasons they want to be able to do these things, mm -hmm. right? So For as sure. we start to age and lose function, yeah. being able to turn the dial back up on how to regain that type of thing. Yeah gives people Absolutely. sometimes a whole new lease on life. And, uh, and when they realize, oh, mm -hmm. I can do a burpee or I can go on a walk with my dog without my knees hurting, once those things start to fall in place, the benefit just outweighs any, any negative yeah. impact, and I think. It's, it's, sure. it's so interesting because you know, I tell my patients, you know, there's no like ex expiration date on your age, like, oh, now I gotta stop doing all of this stuff. Yeah. I mean, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. It's a big mm -hmm. thing that I know I preach in my office. But it's like, look, you know, yes, there are some age related changes that are going to happen. Right. Yeah. And you're going to get, you know, those joints are going to get a little bit more narrow because you have a lost cartilage or, or your disc and things like that. And that's all fine and good. But that does not mean by any stretch that you don't or can't do a ton of stuff that you like doing. So, I mean, but you just have to consistently work at it yeah. and have that goal in mind of, hey, I want to still be able to do this. Right. And I always bring it to, hey, you know, you want to go to an amusement park with your grandkids. You, you know, right. you want to sit regularly in church. You want to yeah. whatever the case may be. Um, so, yeah. yeah, so kind of putting those real life examples as goals to be able to sure. do is yeah, real important. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's Absolutely. very important. Absolutely.